Well, we are heading into the busy season for a lot of home contractors, and Jamie Brenneman with Chattanooga Exteriors is here to tell us what we need to know. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. How Thanks you doing? for joining us. Doing well. All right, so we were just talking that mm -hmm. it is beginning the busy season for you. You know, a lot of consults, mm -hmm. a lot of in office meetings. Yeah. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so right now is a busy time. Everybody's planning their project for what they want to do in the spring when the weather, you know, clears up. Um, we're, we're, we stay busy, you know, year round, uh, and most uh, construction is really busy right now. So um, there's some things that you need to look at when you're planning your project. All right, so what do we need to know? I know we kind of highlighted this as the top things to know mm -hmm. when selecting a contractor. And, of course, whether that's you or someone else, you mm -hmm. want us to be informed. Yeah, so the main, main thing is you want to ask your friends, ask your, uh, you know, neighbors, you know, who they've used, um, what projects they've done for them, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is make sure they're licensed and insured. You know, you can go on to the... Uh, Tennessee website and check that out if it's in Tennessee or Georgia or Alabama, whichever ones uh, you may select. Um, the other things that you want to look at is make sure if you're planning a, you know, a siding project, make sure they're specialized in siding, um, you know, because a lot of people uh, do a whole lot of stuff. Right. Um, but if you're specializing in something, make sure that that contractor is specialized in that uh, project. Um, some other things that you may want to look at is, is look at the Better Business Bureau. Mm -hmm. um, check with your Home Builders Association. Make sure that, you know, they're members. Uh, make sure they have a good track record. Um, there's a lot of people out there that um, th there's no record of them whatsoever. And, and then people hire them and then they don't show up and then you hear all these horror stories and they take their money and they wonder, you know, just do your homework. Take mm -hmm. Take the 30 minutes, an hour to do your homework, and and you'll be a lot uh, you'll be a lot pleased in the end. Well, I was going to say, what are some of those risks? I mean, there may be someone who you get a couple referrals from. You know, mm -hmm. my, my friend's cousin, yeah. you know, could do this job for you. You mm -hmm. should check them out. But you know, maybe they're not licensed or you don't know a lot about them. What are some of those risks that you run with hiring someone like that? Yeah, uh, I mean, the other day, you know, we meet with, uh, you know, people all the time. I met with uh, two people yesterday. One of them had a bad experience with, you know, they took their money. Um, they, you know, had to go fight with them in court. Um, and so their money was held up and their project was held up. Mm -hmm. And so over a year of time, they finally got their money back. But they wasted a year and all this headache and anxiety and stress. Right. That was not really, if you, they would have done the homework to find out this guy had done this before in the past, he wasn't licensed, he wasn't insured. You know, so just, you know, and, and the reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that everybody's protected and make sure they make good, wise decisions. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy now with all of our online resources to kind mm -hmm. of check someone's reviews in their history. Do you have some favorite resources online? Yeah, I mean, the best one is, you know, look at Facebook. Um, you know, you can look out there on that. You can look um, out there for Angie's List, Better Business Bureau. Um, there, there's quite a few of them out there. There's almost too many now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some of those are getting smaller and smaller. Um, and so the big thing is just I would always ask my friends and family and people that I trust or the neighbors that, hey, they just had the same project done to their house. You know, let's check with them, make sure they were happy. Okay, so we've narrowed our list down. We have, you know, we're going to talk to you and maybe one other mm -hmm. person. We have the consult set. Yeah. You know, as a homeowner and with the project in my mind, what do I need to be prepared with and for? Yeah, so the big thing is you want to have your project uh, sort of detailed in writing. You know, so I always tell people is, hey, have a clear um, vision of what this project is. Um, if it's if it's siding only, if it's siding and windows, here's the things that I want. Mm -hmm. Here's the things I want to achieve, um, and here's my expectations. And so you have that in writing. So when you meet with, you know, with two or three different contractors, make sure you plan that out and discuss that with each and every one of them. Don't don't give it to one and not give it to the other. You know, just have it clearly written out in writing and that way it's it's out there and the expectations can be met mm -hmm. and, and being the professional that you are and the professional that we need to look for mm -hmm. you're going to return us a proposal that has all that information in it correct yes yes so the main thing is make sure everything is in writing 
Um, so never go by, you know, hey, I wrote it on a piece of paper and, and most of it's verbal. Make sure everything is in writing. If it's not, if you don't have something that you want written down on that proposal, mm -hmm. ask the contractor to write it down in that proposal. It's so much easier to get everything in writing on the beginning. And then also, you know, enter a contract with somebody. Don't, uh, I would advise you not to do it on a handshake. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, I trust him, I do this. It's, it's so much, uh, there's so much accountability there when you enter a contract. And we're just protecting ourselves yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. it's both, both sides are protected. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, in, in most contracts, it's, hey, there's things that protect the contractor and things that protect the homeowner. So it's a, you enter into an agreement and it's a win-win agreement. All right, how do we get started with you? I know you have a fantastic showroom, so maybe if we don't know exactly yeah. what we want to do, we mm -hmm. can swing by. Yeah, yeah, so you can swing by at uh, 179 Ham Road. Um, we're, we're over on the North Shore, um, or you can reach out to us online at ChattanoogaExteriors.com or call us at 805-3800. All right, perfect. So if you are ready to start that project for uh, your new deck, maybe some new yeah. siding, new doors, new windows, whatever you need, yeah. we can give you a call and get started yeah. with that consultation. Jamie, yes. thanks for joining us. No problem. Thank right. you. We'll see you next time on the deck.